don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. <laughs> All right, guys, today I got Nick Blicky's mom with us. Now, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody, mommy. Ah, happy Thursday. Happy day. Well, my name is Nicola Thompson. As everybody see, I'm running this Instagram, but... I'm his mama, and that song, he said, the street will never love me like my mama do. This is the mama. And, you know, it's hard, but my son is in a better place. He's how, in a better place. How are you able to, to cope with all the, the posts? And I'm sure since you're running his page, you're getting a lot of tags and People are saying a lot of disrespectful things on the internet. How are you able to cope with that? Because you know what? As a human being and as a mother, not only to my own children, I think being a nurturer and I understand who, uh, who you know, when you know who you are, and I know as a nurturer, a nurturer, is a person true until you take your last breath. So being a nurturer who I understand, who am I? I learned about emotional intelligence. So I understand we as human being, what we come with, you understand me? We yeah. born with, if we don't understand who we are, we always were a mind, we born with anger, and violent yeah right now because losing my child okay i am angry i'm violent but i know how to direct it to something healthy and understand and want to get up and yeah. love this world you understand me so i'm aware of negativity because that's we as human being and 99% of the world are not emotionally intelligent. So when you don't understand who you are, you can't understand individual, you can't go to different level to understand and learn about another human being. And that's where it starts from. So Nicholas, my child, have a mother that understand him, learn about him, and love him understand that said we all come with good and bad not judging and you see that's what happened the world judge yeah. but people judge you understand me in the sense that they don't know who they are and because when we start to judge it starts with expectation yeah. and when expectation doesn't meet what happened anger we get angry and that's a ooh, big chest up. I want to take out this person. I want to take that person have something that I want. But if we don't get that foundation to understand that, guess what? We all come with good and bad. You have something good to offer this world because that's what makes the world so unique. You know why? Because we all are different. That's why we have a different imprint. And that's the structure my son, my kids understand because they have a mother. You see, Nick was so humble. Nick was Definitely. so, he was humble because he had a mother that teach him value, moral, you know, love. And he grew up in the church from in my home, but the church is what demonstrates you have a mother that speak life in his life, in his, in his day, every day, he get up. Listen, my son sees mother love every human being like I give birth to them. So that's how each mother, father should feel, but as a nurture, because you know what? My son aware and I, you know, Mike have two sons and Nick gone now, but 
My son and son? Yes, I have another son. Older or younger? No, younger. It's uh, yeah, it's like two year younger. Oh, but you because... see, yeah, I am a mother to as a nurturer, I feel especially boys. Mm -hmm. I try, I understand the spectrum boy is. Boys are so fragile. Mm -hmm. Men are very fragile. And a lot of female, a lot of women, a lot of mom, not aware of that. And you see, that's where my son and demonstrate, and that's where I come to that understand and learn about the two human being that create. We all human being. One is female and one is male. Male create first, and then God create woman after to be the nurturer, mm -hmm. to have kids. But you don't have to give birth to be a nurturer. You see, a lot of female don't understand. Being a nurturer, you supposed to feel have that feelings for another human being. Yeah. You understand? Me? This is where it comes selfishness. Female have more words in their vocabulary. And a lot of time we use the wrong word. So think about you dealing with a human being so fragile that have limited word, learning about themselves, pride, and everything that, you know, don't know how to express. There is men that never cry because why? It starts from that nurture. Yeah. And we as female, if we understand the two different, we got more words in our vocabulary. And a lot of time we use the wrong word. Word builds us up and word breaks us down. And a lot of time you think about the two different spectrum with you, a female and a male and a male learning how to express themselves. Society already suppressed them feeling. They don't even know self-worth. So you think about kids that come from broken home that so broken, don't understand who they are. Yeah. They're gonna like, and already hungry. And so you see, you think about the world. So my point is, I'm aware of even the guy that hurt my child. When I look into his background, I forgive him. Oh yeah, I we do. Got, we definitely got to get into that topic too. But before we get into I that, do. right? I seen I seen a, a a picture that was going around recently on social media with somebody somebody standing over a grave and it has GDK on it, right? And the person is wearing your son's name or picture on his shirt or whatever, right? As far as that go, can you clear that up for everybody to let everybody know that that's like false? You know what? Um, true life. Mm. Like something like that. Like you see what I wrote. I wrote something to clear it up. Do you see what I wrote? I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen it. So I wrote, um, if you look and I, I do it personal, but general for everybody, you know? So with that guy, like I, I tell you, it's with that guy, you know, I am not a, whatever negativity because we all have it and whatever reason because you know what for example and i listen a couple of your show and all of that and i see the different type of people and the way they come at you you approach them that way you understand me every like my son you know you approach him different because how he presents himself yeah you understand me so this is where this is where we got uh, with the emotional intelligence come in to address something like that. Yeah. You see, we as human beings, like stuff like that, people will send a comment, oh, mommy, don't worry, we're going to get him. Violent, it's not the answer. It's not the answer. And we got to stop that You're because you know, we are getting angry and we are getting angry with people have nothing to do what we are going through. So yeah. why? Because of our emotional, whatever, 
You understand me? False impulse. We are putting it towards somebody else that don't deserve it. Yes. And sometimes you will be mad at somebody like my son. I'm aware my son was in gang. And listen, he had a mother that aware. And listen, I sent him away to Alaska to yes. play football. He, my son was a smart kid, a student. But at the same time, have this type of mother and aware of boys that don't have a mother like Nick. Nick have a mother that make him aware of, we don't show off ourselves. We don't exalt ourselves. We don't exalt ourselves and make another human being like, make them feel like we are up there. We are not. We are all the same, be mindful. So my son, see that type of demonstration. So even running with gang, I pray over him and always tell him, I even approach the gang them, say, you better not hurt nobody. You. So I always speak in life in their life and I'm aware. So even with all of that, I'm a mother that understand. And when Nick, a mother that not only giving him what he wants, a mother that ends on, and a lot of parents don't understand that said, girls and boys, especially boys, they need that extra, extra, just caring at the sense that ends on so they can learn how to appreciate another human being because men learn how to care for another human being that's why the highest murderer it's a male the highest human being with low self-esteem is a male why is that why is that lack of structure his lack of and I am aware what's going on. Mother got to step up. Female got to step up and not be just like all about themselves. We can stop that. We are powerful. We got to stand in that gap, not being selfish. And if it's not my child, I don't care. We supposed to feel that love for that. another human being. That's what my son see mommy demonstrate. Yeah, exactly. And everybody so, not separate. So he don't go out there and exalt himself. He don't show up. He know how to hold him cool. And you hear him singing his song. Yeah, I, I learned how to, you know, hold my cool because he learned that his mom make him aware. And we don't, we don't hurt another human being. Mm -hmm. We, we, we we more a human being is more meaningful than things my son see mommy demonstrate that it's not about things it's about how we adore another human being because when we show another human being what is loyalty and you see mommy demonstrate loyalty you see 99 percent of the world don't understand loyalty when you they want to take you out and that's what happened to my son because he have that consistent love pouring him and it's only love can counteract evil and even his death even his last breath he died as an amazing human being because you know what? So anybody come with negativity. Listen, you'll be going with my son. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, he died on um, Mother's Day, right? They sacrificed him, baby. So I, I got a lot of questions for you, right? So um, Go ahead, baby, pour it out. On Mother's, on Mother's Day, were you having any type of event or anything at home or... Did he just leave the house? What what exactly you know, happened me, that night? Let me share something with you. Mother's Day. Okay. Mother's Day. I know he was, he was the day before, which is the ninth. Because he they I move them close to me because I do everything for my child. I even cut my son toenail. I comb his hair. I am one of those human because I am one of those mother that feel every time, not just working, 
my hands nurture them until I take my last breath. That's why I'm still going to make him live through me. And I lose one son and I gain many. I'm one of those humans ready to stand up now and fight for those youth that think violence is the answer. I'm ready. I'm taking my love to the street. You hear what he said? The street will never love me like my mama do. I'm taking my love to the street for them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, another, another, another question I had also, right? Someone had reached out to me a few months ago as far as like, the, I think that I don't know if they Nick signed the label with them or, or Nick signed any type of contract with someone. They reached out to me and said that someone was shop. I don't want to say exact names unless you're comfortable with it, but someone was trying to steal his song that um drive the boat song and they were trying to take it over as their song and all that. They reached out to me about it a few months ago. They wanted me to speak on the topic, but I never got around to speaking about it. Was okay. That, so that, that a fact? Yeah, not even that. I just want to clear up on Mother's Day. I just want to clear up on Mother's Day. So that day, um, Mother's Day, I just want to clear up the night and everything. He did have something. I just want to clear up on that part. Okay. And he was at something, you know, and he came in late because he texted me, said, Mom, because I may, I cook. And he said, Mom, just put it in the fridge. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And he wake up Mother's Day and he said, I tell you, because I still send him a text every morning. Mm, yeah. I still send him a text every morning. And they said, Mom, I just got up. I just got up. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I see you soon. And he came over like about, I was cooking. I was cooking and he said he didn't hungry. He didn't wait for breakfast because apparently he didn't sleep well his phone was ringing all through the night mm -hmm. they were calling him through the night because mark you know i'm a real deal mother mm -hmm. and he's my son and you know <laughs> i forgive everybody because you know what all of us got a day mm -hmm. we all have a day and if we choose to hurt another human being, whatever the reason is, it's on us. Mm -hmm. But he came and he said, mom, I'm going to get you. I said, I don't need no flowers, baby. Mm -hmm. All just, it's okay. And he said, mom, I soon come. And so that day I didn't have nothing. I was just cooking his dinner because it's simple, nothing. And he said he was going across the street and it would be back. Mm -hmm. And that was the last time I see my son. I talked to him on the phone. Yeah. Okay. So with the drive the boat, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So the person, the person that did it, that did it to him, I, I, I was reading articles and it says that they, they actually shook his hand. Right. So is that somebody that you, you're familiar with? You do you know this yes. person? My son hug him. It's somebody I know. Wow. My son hug him before I hurt my son. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. I'm not getting, it's a lot, baby, because you know what? Wow. It's a lot. And I thank God that said, he's working on it because my son deserve justice. So when, when, he, when he was with you on Mother's Day, did somebody call him out the house or something? Like what made him just leave the house? Not leave the house. He, listen to me. My son, don't walk, go nowhere. Yeah. And all of that. My son don't go like even by himself. But my thing is, let me share something with you. And I'm speaking in general. It's only who close to us will hurt us. Hmm. It's only who is close to us will hurt us. Like I heard you said, if you, I listened to one of your show, for example, you yeah. said, if you go out there and make millions and you come back in the wood and want to do something, there is somebody want to kill you. Yeah, exactly. Do you understand? So this is the world. It's like Wild Wild West come back. You ever look back on those days with Wild Wild West? Yeah. 
That's what's going on with the you, the black people. And we need each other. We need each other to win, to win. It's not to like try, I'm going in front of you. We got to win together. Yeah. That's what my son learned. That's why so much people have in his music because he shared, he learned. That's a child yeah. that- He was actually very humble. Me and him spoke because like, I'm sure you're in tune, like me and certain people that he called friends aren't like on the best of terms, but he always like mind his business when it came to that type of stuff. And me and him spoke like, off the internet we spoke a few times and me and had conversations and he said i mean he doesn't really want anything to do with those type of things you know what i mean he's more focused on getting what he has to get done and everything he's like but that's his friends though you know and his loyalty is more with his friends because that's his friends or whatever but he actually doesn't want to have anything to do with the situation and when he spoke to me i took a liking to him because he was very humble and me myself, I'm humble also, but I'm, I'm, I'm and radical. And yeah. very smart and finished school. <laughs> he was an A student. Yeah. He played football. My son is in music from six years old. He yeah. mastered the violin. He played the piano. He do everything. Oh, wow. And he, he got is he got even finished school. Yeah. I cut him in his face and he stay and I give him homeschooling to finish college. Wow. Oh, he, he, he finished finish, college? He finished college during the pandemic. Wow. That's crazy. But you know, bottom line, and I want to share because, you know, I want to speak love. I want to speak life. And anybody who know and aware of my son debt. We all, they all need to get it together and just understand how we are unit. And you know why take out people who are loyal, people who love are vulnerable because they're doing better. We all have a gift and that's how we learn from each other. Nick was a kid that no, that said he will never show off. He will share I'm with you. exactly what you're saying, too. He will share what he has with you. Uh, He's not going to exalt himself. That's... He never, because he have a mom that see. Listen. So this, this, this whole situation is closer to home than everybody else thinks. Sweetie, no, not everybody else thinks the truth will come out. No. Remember anything started. Hold, even when, hold on one second, right? Like I'm I know right now the case is an open case. So is it like certain things that you can't say so that way I don't ask you certain questions? Where do you ask me and then I will I'm I'm a real deal, baby. I'm okay. one of them. I'm like listen to me. My son was just like me. He full Dude, of love. Like ever ever since that, that happened, like has it instilled any fear into you? Like you worry about someone trying to get at you or any of your other kids or whatever because of this sad situation? You know, I know I have no fear. God give us love, a sound mind, boldness. Yeah. And I'm one of those that activate love counteract evil. I'm one of those mother. You have a, a dog, a pit bull, and you raise that dog and you mean to that dog and fight. I'm one of those human beings can go near that dog that want blood and he slowly close his mouth. That's the love I have. That dog will come. That's the woman I am. That's the mother I am for this world. Mm -hmm. The energy. Yes, baby. This world need that. Do you yeah. understand? Do, Not do you, budging. Like, do you feel like these kids, they know better, but they care more about the image than actually like living life in, in because some of them actually gain success from the music. They gain popularity and all of that. But instead of like trying to focus on making everything better for the people they love they want to stick around in the same environment and continue 
bringing out the same type of energy, the bad energy, the beefs and all this drama. And like, do you think like, do you, do you think like these kids know better, but they just choose to do the wrong way and it won't change or like, how, how do you think about that? Well, I'm gonna tell you something with a human nature and especially because girls and boys, no, this is a generation that you said, oh my God, you know, some of them maybe know better, but think about whatever we associate, some of us can be, you can be you're a leader and a leader with good or bad. Always remember that. Yeah. Leader can go cling to bad or good. So the individual human being, as we, some of us, are good leader and some of us are bad leader. So some of us, whatever we associate with self will we'll become like it. Yeah. Always remember that. So you think about some of these kids, like my son, I'm gonna use my son as example. Yeah. He go out there and he get entangled with boys that come from broken home, don't have no mother like what he have that, cause believe me, a lot of these kids are broken, yeah. are broken. And then think about come already broken because they don't know if they come in or going and want this type of image. So when they see somebody, there is something about different about them. Oh, that guy is, he's going to make it. He's so cool, but I want that. But they never were taught that said they have a gift. They're special too. Let's find it. What you good at? You see, understand me? Right now, I feel like as far as like all the stuff that been happening in Brooklyn, I think it's like the drill, the drill scene, it influences kids to be haters because they feel the fastest way for them to gain fame is for them to defame someone else or try to come at somebody else's character, make a diss song or be for other people that are maybe on a higher level than them in order for them to gain some type of success. When all it really is, is to have talent and create good music and people will gravitate towards you. But they they take the other route instead. They rather diss somebody. So I feel like it's gonna continue to happen because when they diss people, their views go up a lot faster than it would if they made a regular song just speaking about regular things. You understand? So I feel like the drill, the, like the drill scene has a lot to do with like situations like what happened with Nick. I feel it's the drill scene because now everybody wants to have that image of the tough guy and the killer and all of that stuff. And nobody nobody wants to have the image of the, the family man. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have kids and raise my kids. People make fun of you for doing, like me, I have kids and my kids live with me and my girl and you know, so everyone, like everyone makes jokes about it. Oh, you're a family man, you can't be a street dude. But I, I'm trying to show them, it's like, I lived this life before, I didn't been to jail before and everything. And I learned from it. Understand? And I, I noticed I, I notice it's no it's no progression if I keep doing the same thing over and over and over. It's like a cycle. I become stuck. There you go. But the, a lot of these young men and young girls, they don't have no sense of worth. So yeah. you think about if you don't understand who you are. Yeah. And have nobody to call you on and eat your wing when you fall. Get up. Let's do this. Yeah. It's hard for them. Yeah. It's hard for them. So you see, with this type of image and society already, that's what they are around. Because I'm going to tell you, for my son, my son, it's, it's, he never locked up. Yeah. My son has. My son never locked up. My son locked up at the prison for trespassing. My son never locked up. My son have no criminal record. Oh yeah, that's good. They, have no, they say it on the media, say have some knife or whatever. My son have no criminal record. My son was used to talk to young people, don't join gang because my son separated from the gang almost three years. Yeah. And do it 
music. Wow. And that's how we get to finish school. Do you understand? My son back to was focusing in his Bible. Do you get it? He came back because you know what? My son hurt a lot of time by his own people. Yeah. And he know when he hurt, he run home to me. He was shooting the knee. He was cut on the finger. And I will say, and he ran home to me. And I said, babe, this is not good, friends. Hmm. My son don't carry gun. My, go, my son never learned to be up gun. I never give my kids them water gun. I say, when we start to demonstrate, stick it up, that can get into a habit. That's the mother my kid raised with. That's why he would value another human being. Earlier on, you said they um you said they, they sacrificed them. Like what what I, made you what made you say that? And like when you say they, like who are you speaking about? No, listen, Usa Heifer planned this. My son was sacrificed. You know why? I can say this. My son, I do his ear. And he said, mom, they tell me to put, when you look Google sack or well, purple, they said, I said, and I did just comb his ear. And he said, mom, they said, I must put purple rubber band in my ear. And you look, and they, he, he did his ear in purple rubber band. And my son sacrificed a couple days after. Really? My, so you said the, listen, the purple mean the purple this that's something like from a ritual or something i'm gonna tell you yes yes you see a lot of time where we in the street but a lot of time we're not aware i am a mother i am a mother for this world that observe everything and know what's going on yeah. why all these why all these rapper dying why all these rapper when they reach a certain level they take out it's deeper it's deeper than what we're seeing i feel it is I, that's that's a conversation i'll be having sometimes too i feel like it is the, the, deeper than that okay the reason it's why they do that, that the reason why they do that because if it's, it's usually black rappers too the reason why they do that because if 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 certain people acquire certain power, especially certain people that has a certain mentality, they'll make change for our people and they don't want to let that happen. Listen to me. My son was out there with, with boys that do crazy thing and talk smack. That wasn't my child. Yeah. So you see the world judging because who was in this circle? Yeah. Do you think do you think do you think his his company had like any influence on some of the choices he may have made or some of the places he may have been of course of course, of course. we got to be real yeah. yes because remember but you see the good thing he had a mother that when certain things that speak in life in his life yeah you understand me with certain things that he go through and I said, son, and I will tell him, I said, these friends, you know, not putting them down, but you are a leader. You know who you are. I used to always tell him that. I said, Nick, know who Nick is. And Nick needs to stand up. There are certain things that's not okay. We don't hurt another human being. We don't, we don't exalt ourselves. We don't do that. And when we start to see people, start to become jealous of us hmm. jealousy and envy we become a murderer hmm. those two walk together envy and jealous yeah and guess what we shouldn't even become jealous or envy so you see a lot of us don't know self-worth yeah. we don't know yeah. who we are nobody's dear to help us to find that gift. So you see a lot of this craziness going on. And as you said, it will continue. It will continue. It's a cycle. But how some of us can stop it as parent, 
is what we speak even you when I, I want you to I want to speak life to in you with certain guy come on your show because listen you have a platform that a lot of people and I'm taking you as a son yeah and you think I want you you know you meet different type of people and I understand you approach them and with this dick that that I want you to speak life in them. You know why? You're smart. Yeah. You're smart. You can change it. So there is guy that would talk smack. Yeah. You understand me? Make and bring that part out of you that yeah. you want to talk smack back. Those are people you can turn it around. Mm -hmm. Fire, listen to me. Soft answer, turn away, rot. Grievous words, stir up anger. Did you know that? So you see, which your you you're mute. I can't hear you. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Which your type of intelligence? I want you to use it. I want you to with this guy that with all of this because. They hurt my son and he didn't deserve it. Yeah. He didn't deserve it. So you think about all these guys that dealing with all this negativity and then they come on your platform and then they come Ray Ray. You can change that atmosphere. You have that power. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. You do, buddy. I'm telling you that. I listen to a couple of your show and I see the different, how you deal with each other in different level. I want you to understand what is emotional intelligent. And I want you to meet everybody where they are. You see this world don't aware of that. That's why everybody chaos. I want to take out everybody. Yeah. You have a platform and I want you to use it to speak life in some of these youth. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. I've been I've been trying, you know, you know, initially when you I do it, do it. when I started initially, like I wanted to to get everybody to be a little bit more unified and everything like that. But it seemed like certain people now like they feel like okay, I'm from a certain area and I'm friends with certain people. So now they try to involve me in their issues when I wasn't involved in their issues. But me being from where I come from and the background that I have, it's like, I'm already a rebel. So when you say certain things to me, I'm not gonna back down from you. No, I know. So but that's, that's what started a lot of the, you know, the, the old I know. people. But, but I want you to work on that because you're good. Yeah. You're smart, okay? And that's how we learn from each other. And this is what's going on in this world. Like I'm telling you, like fire to fire. Oh, you kill somebody, I'm gonna kill back somebody. That's yeah. not the answer. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's all of this, and we need each other. We need each that's other. That's Life true. is so short. You see, I can speak like this because you know what? My son get a lot of time hurt and you see i'm very close with my kids and others anybody come in my world i learn about them and i feel like i give birth yeah to every other human being that's the person that's the love i have yeah and that's how i made that choice that i can it's compassion. And when, when we have compassion, we put ourselves in another posit person position. Do I like this? So you see, that's where we short of. And yeah. you see people talk about loyal and all of this. A lot of us don't know what loyalty mean. <laughs> loyalty mean that gape, that love, that stand, never keep no record of wrong. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't envy. It doesn't jealous. Yeah. That's the real love. You understand me? And this is why we all have a different imprint. And that's what makes we unique. We all special. We all born amazing. We all born amazing. 
You understand me? So a lot of people not hearing that. A lot of us, and I want to talk to, I want to speak to female too. With words, we need to change our word and understand that said word build us up and word break us down. So you see, like boys got to prove to some girls, okay, if you don't have no money. So you think about even that too. Make these boys doing crazy things to prove themselves. Think about that too. Mm -hmm. It's so much going on. It's a lot going on. Definitely. Definitely. It's way too much going on. Is there like anything that you that you want to say like directly to these these young kids that's that's doing these things? You know what? As I with these young kids, I'm gonna tell you, and different level, and it's mainly just understand who they are. And I know it's hard because this is why I'm working on something with my son that for youth, because I am a therapist and I work with boys. I work with a lot of bipolar boys, which label and I don't label because when we start to label, it's a form of separation. And that's where a lot of us feel different because of how we were class. Yeah. Like you said, the white or the, the, the Hispanic. And that's where we said the black, the white. We are all human beings. And when we start to act like the other one, them like anybody that thinks that we are different from each other, yeah. we become just like them. We fall in that same gap. It's one human race. And in the human race is two different sex. And when we start to think like the white men are the black men, because racism in everywhere, a lot of us have it. Yeah. Because you know what I was said, somebody will come upper class, you're doing good, you're better than me. And there is somebody else who come, I'm better than you. Mm -hmm. None of us are better than each other. We come one way and we're going back the same way. Yeah. So life is so short that we fight in each other. Understand who you are. Because you see, when we understand who we are, like you said, like you said, some guy doing so good and they know that, just stay on that path. Yeah. Some of us and the other rest don't know. You know, they don't it's, know. It's, it's sometimes the company you keep too because if you what? if you're chilling around a bunch of people that like that's like the you you know the same where they say blonde leading the blonde. Correct. If you, yes. If you around a bunch of people who can't teach you nothing or a bunch of people that everything you say they say yes to instead of correcting you when you're wrong, you're gonna end up always doing stupidness because they're indulging it with you and they they they're egging you on to do stupidness. You understand? So it wouldn't be no progress. So I feel like. A lot of these, a lot of these kids, they don't know no better because a lot of people not teaching them. Or you go and you see, you you get back exactly where you ask me. You mm -hmm. see, or you get back and answer that same question. If some of these kids know better, it's not a consistent. You see, mm -hmm. for us, even you as a daddy, you gotta keep consistent with certain things and repeat it to your kids and to yourself. Do you understand that? So we as human beings, there are certain repetition we need. And when we get that consistent, consistent, get up, you can do better. Let's do it together. A lot of people don't have that. Yeah. And that's how we do better. And bottom line, we all born for love, searching. The only thing keeping us in this life is love. So you think about a lot of these Boys, girls don't feel love. What you think they're gonna do? Anger and violent. Mm -hmm. They become hard, like the like the what we, the wall. Mm -hmm. A lot of us become numb, no feelings. So that's why they can react so with another human being, regardless, and for things. Yeah. So it's it's like it's a it's a gambling with a lot of human being with their emotion you know why 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 they going and re always remember yeah we are human being 
If we act happy, it's a reason why. If we act sad, it's a reason why. So think about, so everything is have a root. So you see, people will do a quick fix. Oh, and there is people will go to the root and understand why they feel this way. And there is a lot, and that call emotional intelligence. Because when we become emotional intelligent, will we understand ourselves? Why I'm behaving this way? And then when we understand yourself, this is how you can understand the world. So you that's know, why a lot of us, huh? You know, nowadays with like, if you speak to them, right? Like, and the stuff that you're saying, I understand it because, you know, mentally I'm on a different level from them, right? But some of them, you will say exactly what you're saying to me and I understand it, but you'll say it to them and it goes over their heads. They say you preaching. It's like, they don't want to hear it. You know, it's like certain kids, like, like going to church, for example, right? Certain kids don't want to go to church, right? No. But you would tell, you would tell a kid exactly what's right for him. He doesn't want to hear that. But if you tell him to, to do something that's stupid, he, he tends to want to do that more. I don't understand. Because that's a human being of, um, thing, because you know what? The mind, the mm -hmm. mind. So you think about, as you said, influence, whatever we, the company, like they said, show me your company and I tell you who, who you are. are. Yeah. So you see, sometimes like not even that, you think about us as human being again. Yeah. You see, we always have negative thought. Mm. And that's something we can't control. But when I say can't control, we can't stop negative thought. But some of us don't know how to direct it to something healthy. Some of us act on it. So you think about when you have a negative thought, oh, I'm going to kill that person. I'm going to hurt. And it activates. Where do you think it goes? It goes in your heart. And then you just go on and you act on, on that you mute again. You, you mute. So you think about your mind when you get up. If you get up negative, your entire day is like that. So if you don't have nobody around you to show you that love, and it boils down to love. It boils down to real love. We are human beings was created for real love. That's the only way. And if it's not real, if it's not consistent, we'll be a monster. Mm -hmm. Do you well, understand? Yeah, I definitely understand. So um, like as far as Nick music goes and stuff like that, like I'm sure he has a lot of music that, that isn't released yet. Will, will you be releasing any of his music? Oh, yes, I will be releasing them. And, uh, you know, um. It's so much, you know, it's so much that it's still heartbreaking, but as I tell you, it's so much. And then I see a lot of music are releasing that I'm not aware of people using his voice yeah. because he will make, yes, he made, that's how he, he know to share. Mm -hmm. That's a boy love to share because he have a mom that share, not only with our children, she had a mom that shared her love with other yeah. other kids, people, children. So you see, there is people that will have his music and they were using it. You know, and Nick was like that. He giving. Do you understand? He gave because he was taught that way. Life is short. And he, he learned it. And he used to tell me, mom, they want to kill me. Yeah. It's not like that. My, my son always said, mom, listen to me. And he came back when they hurt him. He used to tell me, and I'm aware. I'm aware. But he was off the street and get himself together. So he's at a better place. So this is why I'm hurting, but I'm contentive. Yeah, you're very because strong. Babe, I always tell him, he aware. Mankind will try to take life that they cannot give, but they cannot take your soul. 
Tomasa throughout his life, he aware of that. And how much time he get hurt, he aware of that. Do you understand, sir? My son was aware of this life that he live in because he's doing good. And he know there is somebody who will try to take him out. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's it's deep. So ever since ever since he passed, right? Like the people that he was associated with mainly, have they reached out to you? Do they come by? Do they see call you? Do they no, they came to his lighting his candle. And they were all celebrating my son death. And I speak to them. They all cry. Yeah. I speak to every one of them. So yeah, they all cry. Mm -hmm. Because you know, let me tell you something what's going on. Hurting, this is something with the youth killing, taking another life that they cannot give because yeah. they don't value life. They don't value life. Let me turn this up a little. They don't value life, sweetie. Yeah. It's what's going on. So you think about that. Um, so it's like, I don't know how to this. It's like, it's, it's, it's sad in a sense that we as human beings think that we can take a life like that. But at the same time, I understand that. You understand me, said It's from day one we create. There will always somebody want to take we out. Yeah. You understand me? So it's something that I understand and my son understand that. You understand me? Because my son was aware, even when Pop smoked dad, he said, mom, I bet you they're going to come for me soon. He, he said that. My son say that. Yes. Wow. My son say that. So it's like, it's bigger than what, it, sweetie, I, I know, I listen to me. My son hurt a couple of times. And listen, I'm not no mother just said give birth. I know I am a nurturer mm -hmm. and a nurturer till I take my last breath. Yeah. Not because my son was reached a certain age. I even still pay. My son have his phone from six years old and I never turn it off. So you see a lot of these boys don't have that. Yeah. You understand me? A lot of parents have kids and when they reach certain age, they are, or they do something stupid. They turn them away. Yeah. And that's why a lot of these boys and girls become murderers angry that's what going on so people try to do this same thing i do everything the way the way i walk clothes i do everything yeah the way you, work. You, you you remind me of uh my mother right so like like you're you're you go to church and stuff you're christian right so you like did what? you did you forgive like did you forgive his 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 killer like did you like are you able to forgive him or is it something that you still haven't gotten over yet Yeah and you said Christian let me share something with you with Christian um because I love to speak for the world and you know everybody have belief a different belief but I'm going to tell you something what my sons my kids and people see I demonstrate and when does Christianity come in? Because a lot of people use Christianity and Christian and cover up, but they don't care. Yeah. I don't use that. You know what I use? I believe there is the creator. There is a God that created us all unique. And I cannot see him and I believe that I love him, but who I'm seeing, I can't love. Mm. So it's deep. And that's why, and that's how I match up my life with that God. Mm. You understand me? With another human being I'm seeing. So what I'm explaining to you, there's a lot of people will come and Christianity, but they don't care for another, another, yeah. another 
not a child. They won't reach out. They don't speak out. It's only for them. I don't, I don't, I believe in a God that loves us all. So, and I love him and I cannot see him and who I'm seeing, I can't be mindful. Yeah. That's why I love this world. I come with good and bad. That's why I can forgive like that and speak life because you know what? We all come short and so, love is the answer. Um, Nick, Nick lived with you, right? Yes. Did you like ever think like, since all this stuff been happening, have you ever like, while he was alive, think that maybe you should move from the area? You know what? I do quite a few times because listen to me, I do, I sent him away Alaska. Remember I tell you, I sent him away Alaska when he first joined the gang. Yeah. And the dad sent him back here. So I put him back in football, but you know what? Let me explain something to you. He would have come back here because that's how we faithful. Yeah. They take out a good boy that only knew love. Mm -hmm. And you know what? And I said, God could have spared his life. He only get one bullet in his heart. There is men, look at 50 cents. He get 50, don't. People get a lot of bullet. But you know what? I believe that some of us, God got to shorten our days to save some of us. Nick didn't, I, I want him, but the rest of the world, people him that he faithful to didn't deserve him. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't deserve him. I and that's why I wrote him a tribute and I wrote him a song. I'm recording it. Yeah. I wrote it a tribute. Are, are you about to make a song? I seen yeah. a video. I seen a video with you, um, with you dancing and doing the moves that he's. And I did, and I make him a big birthday party. Yeah. It's on his Instagram. Go on his Instagram, and it's I, on on YouTube too. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I, I'm gonna um, I'll probably put in the clip with you dancing in this video too somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the video. Um, yeah, but you know, it's it's. I, that's why I can really stand like this. I'm ready to stand for this world that's falling apart mm -hmm. and life's so short. And I want to reach out to all the soul that don't have these feelings and don't understand why they feel this way, why they're so angry, and then bringing their anger to somebody else that don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going on. I can't save everybody, but I can speak life. That's why I want you to change your word with certain people and try to meet them there because I'm telling you, I'm ruined for you. I'm I ruined for you. I definitely do that because you and a lot of other people have been telling me the same thing. So I definitely do that because it seems like it's, it's what's best because a lot of people that care about me and close to me said the same thing. So and I definitely, I definitely do that. Well, we got to make a change and you said when you start this show you want to make a change because Definitely. you experience certain things in your life and the older we get we suppose not even that everything we go through life there is something good to grab from it yep. you see some of us our intellect or understanding is at a different level you understand man? every one of us process stuff in different way just like every one of us learn in different way some of us are hands-on visual it doesn't matter but we all are different and learn so that's where you come in now you want to meet everybody where they are because you know what mm -hmm. one kind word can save the day a lot of people feel empty sad you know, so sad. Like I have some word that I wrote down and you know, like lonely, people angry, sad, you know, and hopeful, you know, guilty. And it's a lot. And with all those with the opposite, like you said, lonely, what is the opposite to that? Belonging, you know, angry. What is the opposite to that? Peaceful you know, sad, what is the opposite to that? Happy, you know, afraid, you know, what is the opposite? Secure, what is the opposite of hate? You know, loving, you know, you know, in 
it's so much guilty, innocent. So, you know, it's so much we as human being bottling. And then when we are bottling so much and somebody can change, change that gear to some way on, on the right path, one of us got to make that choi choice because everything is a choice. Mm -hmm. You see this world, people don't care for each other no more. And you see, this is what going on with this pandemic. Mm -hmm. You see, this is so we, this should be a place that we come and understand that said, wow, things are changed. Yeah. Okay, what if things will go back to normal? And we're so fighting. We're fighting for this fame. We're fighting for that. And tomorrow didn't promise to us. Yeah. We were fighting. We used to go to the best opera singer. We used to go to the best, finest restaurant. And all of this, it boils down to be humble. We don't exalt ourselves. So you just think about people who are homeless and I have a house and they're bragging on them. It's time for us Everybody to go back to the same dirt. Yes, there you go. So it's about, it's not what you said. It's how you say it. I want you to practice that, baby. I'm definitely. You are powerful, okay? You are powerful. And I want you to use your platform and speak into these youth life, not just like they're trashing. You can change that with your intellect. You're smart. Okay. You're I'll do that smart. for you. But before, before, we, before we wrap it up, because we like at an hour now. So before okay, we wrap, do you have do you have anything you want to close with? Ah, I want to close with just people ask me how I stay healthy mm -hmm. and staying healthy is because of the love I have for this world and understand this world that come with good and bad and a lot of darkness. Yeah. And that's why I can stand strong and ready again to fight for this world. Because there is one or two out there yeah. need somebody to fight for them. And I'm one of those human beings, one of those nurture, one of those mother. Yeah. And as my son said, the street will never love me like my mama did. That's me. I'm ready. I'm ready to bring my love to the street. And yeah. every post that I put up, everybody know I speak out with love. I speak and it's all, it's only love is the answer. Violent is not the answer. We need each other. We need each other. We are so unique. We are all unique and so amazing. And that's what we need to know. All right, thanks for coming up though, mommy. I appreciate you and stay course, strong, all right? You. I will, baby, for all of you. All right, mommy. Peace out. Great. If you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.